today we have a French filmmaker in India who is here for his feature film called Jaspa. So today we are going to speak with him about his film, about his journey, uh, the place he was born to the field of visual media. Thank you, sir. Thank you for inviting me. So tell us something about your journey, the place you were born to the field of visual media. So I was born in Delhi. And I grew up in an area called Parganj. Parganj. So this is the place where my grandmother, mother of my mother, and all my mamas mm-hmm. were living. Mm-hmm. So when I was young, I grew up with them. And my daddy, dada, they were living in a city called Rurki. My dada was uh, belonged to the Indian Indian Army. So when he get retired, he mm-hmm. established over there. My father himself was in the Indian Air Force and at the beginning of the 80s we moved to France and to start a new life, a new journey. Okay, so what's the story about behind this or the inspiration behind this movie Just Path? When you have done many uh, documentaries but why this feature film? Yeah, uh, first you know in our fields, documentary maker, short filmmaker, journalist, uh, custom designer, camera, etc. You will always find when you talk with them that they have a script that they want to make one day in a movie. <laughs> so, I, I was one of them. I had an idea. I want to make a movie which will be totally different from what I have seen in India. Doesn't mean it will be better. This is not my pretension. It will be different. This was my ambition. So I start from this this point to make something different. So any challenges you have faced when you see your first <laughs> So I say this to everybody. So if you, if you compare, you, you you will see it's like sorry. when you're in a documentary field. Let's say if you compare this as a sports competition you are playing the normal league but when you enter in the future film you enter in the champions league it's very difficult it's everybody dreams to be there very few arrives there my chance was to make this movie because i had a team who follow me from the last 20 years so they know that when i decide something i don't step back so they know that in 2017 when i told them we will make a feature film we will switch from switch from the documentaries to movies everybody said okay it will be very hard but we know you will make it so we are behind you you know i'm very lucky to have a grateful and lucky grateful to have a such an amazing technical team with me production team with me they 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 do everything to make me in the best position so i don't have to worry about this or that yes team is very yeah. Don't, don't don't ever think because the movie has my name as a director that I was the only one who decided or the yes. only one who make it. It's a, actually it's not fair, but because it's a teamwork. Yes. You don't have to be have a big ego and say it's only me. There were thousands of I don't say thousands, tens of people who work with me, who support me, who guide me. So it's uh, the credit go to all the team. Yes. How is the response of this movie? I mean, you have uh, done a screening in Delhi, Kolkata, Lucknow. How's the response? Chandigarh. The Chandigarh. Sure. So, to be very honest, it's uh, it's not uh, response is not in between. It's they like it or they hate it. <laughs> they like it because they say, "Oh, wonderful, a new movie, something that we are not used to," and then you show the truth about our situation and. The truth about the youth today and the others they totally had it there's no story there was not a song there, there's and then the hero what is his position and and i understand both of them i yes. mean uh when you you know i make a documentary my one of my first 20 years ago and i have a chance to get a screening of this but i didn't go because i was i was scared what people will say you know and then there was an elder uh man who I really love and I trust and he told me when you put your name as a director on a movie it's your child it's your child from this point you go and you defend you don't 
you know you don't step back saying it's not me sorry it was the other one you have to follow yes so this is what i do with a, a, a jispal movie i respect the choice of those who said i'm totally stupid and i make a stupid movie and I understand and i don't critic them and i also understand who tell me it's a cinema du réel it's something very amazing it's something new and new vision for me both are important for me criticism has to be there. yeah if there is no criticism then you allow only your family to watch yes. you will yes. sure that yes. mama will like all your yes. family will applaud and nobody will say anything but yes. you want to go the truth you have to pause this and it's nothing bad it's i mean if people pay for something yes they should be happy yes and if they are not happy they must they have the right to say we are not happy So you are not allowed to say why you are saying this. <laughs> so what's your thought on uh, when somebody is saying that there's no music, there's no, uh, you know, I mean, uh, what's your thought about regional cinema in India, in Punjabi cinema, Marathi cinema? Do you follow regional cinema? Yeah, yeah of course, I follow. This, this, uh, so to be very honest, I don't follow all of them, but uh, I never, if there's a movie on or if I have a chance to watch, I really watch with and I enjoy. I never criticize. I say this is a question of taste. Yes. People in India love this. Yes. Who I am to say, oh, you don't have to watch this. I'm going to tell you what's the truth. That doesn't work like this. This is an Indian taste. In India, people like masala. Yes. We like spicy. We like sweet. And all of them, we love them on the extreme level. Yes. When when we love sweet, we love sweet. <laughs> Believe me, it's extreme. Oh. And when we would like spice, it's extreme. In Europe. they like all of this but in the middle you in see middle. yeah it's not too spicy it's not <laughs> <laughs> so I, i really enjoy i mean i i really like that because it remind me the time when i was young it remind me the time of my grandparents mm-hmm. so i i'm very attached to all this so uh, uh may i know any feature film you have watched recently Indian teacher. Wow. Art cinema. Wow, well, uh, it's it, <laughs> you are going to trap me. I know I, I have a uh, two various, you know this last years I was working so much on my movie. And at the same time I watch many movies to forget my movie, you know, okay. to be like uh, like the old time when I was used to watch. I don't know. I, I'm very curious to watch Chamkila, the movie with the uh, which, which which come out. Yes. because i know one person who work on so i have to watch yes and then uh, the amazing work done by daljit dosan it's just amazing i mean he has put the punjabi culture punjabi music punjabi cinema to another yes. level yeah. this is the man who brought the punjabi culture to the west to the west but not to the west as a sidekick as a main main event he changed the game believe me he has changed the game in the coming years nobody will be doubt about a hero with the turban with the turban yes everybody will say oh it's normal for these dosans post screening i was watching your movie uh, in alliance de france in delhi but post screening uh, there was a q and a session and uh, during that session uh, we saw you that you got emotional and you took the name of your nani ji so any mantra any memories uh, you Uh, yeah you know it's it's very strange i mean i'm a boy who grew up in who was born in delhi my families they came from rawalpindi punjab ex, you know the the pakistan punjab and they established here in, in this land and i was thinking about them because they made huge sacrifice yes. you know they made sacrifice because my parents went to europe they made yeah. sacrifice so we have a easy life and i tell you you want emotional i'm t- i'm telling very honestly deep of my heart you know every time when i travel because i have a french passport <laughs> i cross the all the borders and i think all the time about them and saying this is because of them yeah. otherwise i would be in the other line mm-hmm. waiting my time and saying sir this is my visa sir this is my yes. employment and you know i'm lucky because my grandparents my parents made this sacrifice yes. and all this credit goes to them so when i'm here the small guy from delhi who left he come back at the alien showing his movie in front of diplomats yes <laughs> you have to be honest something you happened in your heart and you remember them you have to be grateful oh yeah um, so uh, you're born in delhi 
then you went for how many languages do you know you know i speak let's say english a little bit punjabi yeah. french which is my real language which i speak every day and i speak a little bit of german german yeah hindi urdu so hindi to be very honest i understand fully but if i speak with you in hindi all of your audience they will say this guy is not a film director he's a comic <laughs> ask him to come and to make a one man show will understand i understand fully but i cannot speak because i will speak with a huge punjabi accent you all of you you will make jokes of me so <laughs> that's okay so uh, how many states you have travel in india so in india i told you i have been to now i can say i have been to bengal because two days ago i was in bengal calcutta, calcutta. i've been to punjab haryana i've been to in the south pondicherry and tamil nadu so basically not so much in india i'm very sorry for the audience but i travel a lot in uh, in uh, asia uh, i've been like 10 15 time to japan for work uh, south uh, um, south america peru if you know the machu picchu it's a very famous place amazonia jungle uh, brazil i've been all this guys so any mantra or any advice you would like to share for the aspiring filmmakers so this uh, i want to say there are few things which makes a difference with those who achieve their project and those who stay at the stage of projects there's not so much difference so the first thing is to never give up i mean if you choose to do this work you have to remember that it will be very hard you will have appointments where the people say oh i love it i will sign you and nothing happened so you have to be ready with this you know up and high emotionally one day it's very high other day is very low this is the first thing never never ever give up and second thing it's to trust people around you yes sometime you think they don't want you to achieve but they want you to achieve but they want also to, you to open your eyes and see the true in face yes you see sometimes you want to do something but all the others know that you you are unable to do but it will be very difficult so you have to listen to them this yes. is very important and the third thing which i cannot say in france because religious part and spiritual part it's different which is the most important doesn't matter who which spirituality you belong if you are hindu if you are muslim if you are sikh if you are christian if you are buddhist if you are uh jaini or if even you don't believe but you believe in some special power you have to you have to believe in this yes because i do believe for myself because i am there because i have the blessing of my elders i have the blessing of wahi guruji with me because my mother prayed for me yes <laughs> i'm stupid but she's not stupid she asked for her son so this is the result of that so never forget please your elders your parents if you have them if they give you the blessing trust me the project will happen one day or not yes. so you have to believe in yourself on this note we'll wind up this interview thank you thank Thanyavad. you thank you ji namaste sasrikal <laughs>